Hey guys, this is Brianna. This is the part two of my um, general overview of the IB courses that I've selected. In the previous video, I discussed all my HL courses, and in this video, I'll go over the three SL courses that I selected, which are English A, Language and Literature SL, Chinese A, Language and Literature SL, as well as um, my Psychology SL course. Yeah, so let's get started. So first, English, English Language and Literature SL. Well, personally, I am a huge fan of English literature, so I especially enjoyed this course where like um, in, in English A Language and Literature, we get to read many texts, many books, literature books. And for us, we first of all, like we um, study the song lyrics of Bob Dylan. And then we go, well, we study the play script, A Raisin in the Sun, by Lorraine Hansberry. And in the next semester, we're going to touch upon like po poetry as well as another book, as I would imagine. Yes. So like in English language and literature, we study these literary texts and as well as non-literary texts, for example, blog posts, for example, um, infographics, for example, political cartoons. And we study both um, groups of texts. Based on the stuff that we studied, we're going to answer a paper one as well as an individual oral for the SL course. So what is paper one? Paper one is you're going to be given a text and the text type you wouldn't know before the exams. So you're gonna we're gonna prepare for many different kinds of text types. For example, prepare for infographics, prepare for political cartoons, pre prepare for like blog posts and so. And on the actual paper one exam, you're gonna be presented with two texts, and you'll select one of them. Usually, one text is literary based, another text is like a visual text. So you you will analyze how one text and how the features in one text contribute to its purpose and meanings. So you write basically an, an analytical essay based on this text. Yeah, so for those who are very into literature and very good at writing essays and analyzing um, text, it is a good pick. It would be a good pick for you. And as for like the individual oral, it is an oral task where you'll select a literary text and, and a non-literary text. These two texts have to be related, and they're ha they will be related to a common global issue. For example, re related to um, gender equality, related to um, racial equality, or related to family relationships, and all. You'll have you'll have to pick out e um, one text from each category and link them to this global issue, and then analyze how each text contribute to the like general global issue and how they connect to each other. So this individual oral is something that also takes up takes up your time not only in the course but also outside the course because um as you're practicing it you have to do this on your own because nobody can like create an outline for you you'll have to spend your time to find appropriate text and create this general outline form for your individual oral and then on the actual oral exam you'll like you'll have this outline form in front of you and you'll present your literary text and non literary text to your examiner and then you would speak for 10 minutes and um, like based off your um, general outline form, but you shouldn't be reading off it because then it will seem unnatural. So you'll have um, to prepare for it a lot, but you also have to make it sound like a conversation. So like this, I imagine for like native speakers wouldn't be a very hard job, but if, uh, but if you're not a native English speaker as I am, you will be like, you'll need to spend time on it and make sure you improve your oral over time because it could be a challenge for you and it was a challenge for me in the past if like um, sometimes you don't know what to say or you don't know the appropriate expression for specific ideas that you have in mind yeah but overall like the individual oral is very exciting for me because I enjoy talking to people and I enjoy like the Q&A session after your your presentation with your oral so combine paper one and the individual oral these are the two components of your English A language and literature SL course so yeah 
For those who are interested in English literature and who enjoys reading English te、uh, literature texts, it would be a good choice for you to pick English A. But do make sure that you're willing to spend some time, spend a lot of time in、um, English literature, reading your、um, literary texts and preparing for for your individual oral. And you'll need to improve your write, essay writing skills and English speaking skills throughout your DP program. Yeah, that's about English A. Next, we have our Chinese A language and literature SL. Well, it is a weird thing because I'm both I'm studying Chinese A language and literature SL at the same time that I'm studying English A language and literature SL. And sometimes I feel like these are simply two subjects that are learning the same stuff using different language, but not exactly the same. So for Chinese, it also has paper one and individual oral, but all is in Everything is in Chinese, and we also learn like we also study a play script, as well as like certain poetry by a Chinese poet in the past. And in our individual oral, we also select in literary text and non-literary text, and do the global issue thing as I just mentioned in the previous English course. So like the overall assessment is pretty much the same. And as for the difficulty, if you're a Chinese student, you have to study it no matter what. But like. Um, there's the difference between SL and HL, which also applies to English as well. Is that HL would have a higher level essay, and they would have to write,、um, analyze two texts in the paper one exam, whereas SL only has to like analyze one text in the paper one exam. So like in terms of what what we study, it isn't that different. But in terms of the exam examination content, there will be more stuff for the higher level students. Yeah, so. If you're a Chinese student, you have to pick it. You have to select it, and I have no suggestion for you because that, that's what you have to do. Yeah, but that's something for you to know. Dun dun dun! Finally, my psychology standard level course. Psychology is the subject that I pick that is entirely based on my own interest.、Uh, what we study in psychology is that、um, IB psychology is divided into three main approaches. The first, the first is socio-cultural approach, where we learn stuff like、um, the social cognitive theory, social identity theory, how people interact with others, and like、um, how culture influences people's behavior and stuff. So these are the these are the socio-cultural approach, and the second approach is the biological approach, where we learn like the brain structure, how the brain works. Like everything in your brain, biologically, affect how your brain structure affect、um, your psychology and your human being. Yeah, and the third approach is cognitive approach. This would include, for example, your hormones, your decision making, and your like the processing model, the dual processing model. Um, the working memory model, yeah, mainly the memory and your brain. So both of、um, three of these approaches will combine together, and you'll have like a more well-rounded experience and understanding of psychology in general. So what we study in each approach are mainly the scientific experiments and psychological studies related to this approach, and basically these. Experiments are the only thing that we're studying for the IB psychology course.、Uh, a lot of studies in the in different approaches, and in the end, in the psychology exam, we have this. The paper one will contain、um, questions that basically allow、um, requires you to recite,、uh, like memorize, recite these studies onto the. Exam paper, and you're gonna just like write the studies out, including like the aims, the participants, the procedures, and the results and the evaluations. And then you're gonna like sort of explain how the study supports certain theories or certain concepts. And this is what the IB exam looks like. Yeah. So my personal opinion of IB psychology is that it is a pretty interesting course. And I believe you'll learn a lot in the course, and what you study is very interesting. But the actual psychology exam isn't very isn't very interesting, and all you you you'll have to remember all of these dozens. I would I I don't know dozens of studies that you've learned before, and you have to recite them on the spot. 
and you have to know which study pairs with which concept and you just write them out and explain how that relates to certain concepts and how that um, contribute to the development of certain theories and all. So like I don't like the how the exam is set up, but it, overall like the course content of IB can IB psychology is very interesting. And some uh, many of my peers who study psychology also study like chemistry or biology because they serve as a good complement with each other. And yeah, for students who are like generally interested in this area, the pre med area. I think psychology would be a good companion for you and those for those who are, who are like purely just purely interested in psychology and how human interaction, how people make decisions and how like how the brain works, it would also be a good pick for you. But the thing is you have to be very good at memorization if you want to study IB psychology, especially a higher level. Um, because higher level will have to learn more concepts and more studies than our standard level. So like standard level would have fewer studies, which may be a little bit better compared to the higher level. Yeah, so that's what I have to say about um, my IB psychology class. With that, this video officially wraps up. And I hope what I said has helped you. And one thing that I have to point out is that all of these summaries and these overviews and thoughts are entirely based on my personal uh, experience in the IB program. And that is like um, highly subjective. And um, because I am probably going to a different school than you are, and my peers around me are different than your peers around you, and like uh, my strengths and weaknesses are different from your strengths and with weaknesses. So yeah, keep in mind that you need to like um, listen to and watch all of these with a grain of salt, and like these are entirely subjective in my personal opinion of the IB course. With that being said. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you liked it, um, please click the like button and su subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have further questions regarding the IB courses or course selection and I'm very happy to answer them. Yeah, thank you very much. I am Brianna.